I, I'm curious, Aaron, how would you set up like your forecasting or demand planning team when, you know, it comes to operating a business like True Classic Tees, right? Like, let's say you're the, you know, chief supply chain officer at True Classic, you're going through this growth period, you know, how would you have set up that, that demand planning or forecasting team? Yeah, I'm a fan of, of keeping things very simple and very basic, and at least from a foundational level so you can understand it. At the end of the day, SNOP planning is comparing what you want to have happen with what you think is going to happen. And then you compare what actually happened with, with those two. And so I think that, you know, you have to have this framework in place where your goals are what you want to have happen. That is the $20 million a month. And so then you think, okay, what do we think is going to happen? And we want 20 million, but, you know, we're, we're averaging about eight. So do we think it's going to be 10? Do we think it's going to be 12? They still grew in that year that they went through. But um, at the end of the day, all demand forecasting is traffic times conversion equals sales. And so when I would break this down, I'd say, okay, what is uh, the traffic coming to the website? How much is that organic? How much of that is paid? What is our CAC? What is our budget that we're able to spend uh, toward digital marketing? And so if I know that I'm spending, I'm making this up, $50 uh, for, per customer, and I'm willing to spend $5,000 a day, well, I should in theory be acquiring that many customers, right? And so you just kind of break this down into those bits, bits and pieces because it's all about inputs and outputs. And so you know, from a team or pers perspective, I don't think you need a super big team, but you need people who are going to be rooted in data and are going to be thinking about this and consistently, you know, being a, a break a little bit on the on the company um, so that you hear the ambitions of 20 million, but that you also look at the reality and say, you know, in order for that to, to happen, we're going to have to be able to, we're going to have to be willing to be unprofitable, right? Because we're going to have to acquire customers, not at $50, but at $200 in order to get that growth that's there. And that's going to start forcing some some good tension, some good conflict in the organization. And you'll start to flesh out the bad ideas faster and they won't be as, as dramatic. 